welcome back to the Capitol. We campaigned hard and voters dumped Team Extreme. Yeah. Giving more breaks to those who already have them doesn't create job one and isn't good for the middle class. Governor Dayton's plan invests in creating good jobs and growing the middle class. It buys property tax relief, a new investment of $120 million in state aid to cities and counties will greatly reduce the property tax burden on homeowners while protecting the public services that can be, keep our community strong. The governor proposed restoration of aid to protect the public services we provide right on. We're going to protect our jobs right on. More layoffs are not the way to grow good jobs and to grow the middle class. This budget also buys infrastructure. The governor's budget strengthens the economy by building and maintaining our roads, bridges, and public transit. Those infrastructure projects will create good jobs and bring new businesses here. Is that good for the middle class? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, are we going to wait for another bridge to collapse before we do what we need to do? Yeah. Are we going to raise the revenue necessary to keep our roads safe? Yeah. The budget reinvests in education. The governor's budget makes needed investments in Minsk system and the University of Minnesota. $80 million each to train our workforce for the jobs of the future. Shouldn't all children have the opportunity to go to college yeah. and prepare themselves and our great state to deplete in the global economy? Yeah. Should they ever be deprived of a chance for a better future? No. This budget also provides early learning scholarships, all-day kindergarten, and increases K-12 funding by $52 per student. Is that good for the middle class? And the governor has is courageous. He's got guts on how he's going to pay for these things. He does it by creating a fair tax system that this union has been lobbying for for a decade. We're squaring off against big businesses that refuse to pay their fair share. They say Governor Dayton's reform plan kills jobs with business-to-business -business taxes. Sister Brothers, that's bull, that's a myth. The business-to-business -business sales tax raises $2.2 billion. And that's how we pay for middle-class priorities to create good jobs and bring new businesses here. Governor Dayton and the legislator are poised to grow the middle class. The labor movement in Minnesota will grow by 20,000 workers if family child care and home providers have the right to collectively bargain with the state. And anyone who supports gender equity should also support the collective bargaining rights of family child care providers in Minnesota. I want you all to imagine now union caregivers from the beginning of life to the end of life.